Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shayna and my channel is all about fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. And then also you can hit that little bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Um, so today's video is going to be all about my um, designer jewelry collection and then with a couple of added extra pieces as well that are non-designer. Um, but I thought it would be really fun um, to do a jewelry collection video. I've kind of been watching some of these myself here on YouTube. So I want to start with my Tiffany & Co collection. So um, I mostly have their Return to Tiffany Sterling silver pieces because those are the ones that I'm most interested in. Um, so I have a lot of those. So I will start by saying that every time you um, get a Tiffany & Co piece, they come in this really nice little blue dust bag and that's very very nice and I'll just go ahead and start out with this necklace I guess I'll just do necklaces first so this is the love return to Tiffany necklace let's make sure you guys can see that in the camera here it's very very beautiful so it just says the return to Tiffany heart with the word love and red cursive written across it. I love this piece. I've actually been wearing this one when I do go out. Um, I've been kind of going back to it. Um, and I didn't put it on actually because I wanted to show it in the video. Try to get that on here. It's actually not the most easy piece to get on. Oh, yeah. There we go. So yeah, that looks super, super nice. That's one of my faves. Okay, so then the next necklace would be, and this one's actually on a 16 inch sterling silver chain. The next one that I have is this key. If you know Tiffany Co, you know they're known for their keys. And I liked how it had the three like circles or whatever in the design here. And then this one is actually on a pretty long, I think this is an 18 inch chain and it's actually like an oval chain, if you can see that. And I love this, so pretty. I like to wear it um, with like solid color shirts, maybe not low cut shirts, but more like a crew neck because it shows up so nice whenever it falls. So yeah, that is my Tiffany key necklace. Next necklace is this return. Oh no, no, sorry. This one is the Elsa Peretti Diamonds by the Yard necklace. And this is the smallest size um, carrot diamond that you can get. But really really like this one for layering it's really good to um, put this one on maybe with a longer necklace I've got a sweatshirt on right now so it really doesn't it's not very becoming with a sweatshirt on but and since I'm on that topic I did want to mention that this sweatshirt is from L&M from Jen's line and I will link it down below I love this actually I think this one may be sold out but but anyway, yeah, there's the Diamonds by the Yard um, with the love heart, Return to Tiffany heart. The next necklace is my, this is a favorite and it really needs to be cleaned. And I do use Tiffany & Co Silver Polish to clean these um, and it works really good. I, tr I try, they're not cleaning jewelry right now because of COVID, but um, whenever I am near a Tiffany Co, I try to take all of these to get cleaned by them because they do have complimentary cleaning. So return to Tiffany tag, heart tag. Um, and this has got the Tiffany blue heart here, just right beside of the return to Tiffany one. And I love how that looks on to fix this here it's so pretty like it's like the Tiffany blue heart is a background for the return to Tiffany heart the chain definitely needs cleaning <laughs> all right so that is that I think that's it for my necklaces let's move on to bracelets 
Tiffany Cobra Sled. So um, this one kind of it matches that necklace that I just showed you. This is the beaded heart return to Tiffany bracelet, and it has the return to Tiffany on the heart, and then the um, Tiffany blue heart uh, color on the back of the heart. So that is that one. Next, and I have everything out here in front of me, so that's why I keep looking down, and I'm trying not to miss everything or anything, so. The next one is one of the first pieces I got a few years ago. Um, this is the Return to Tiffany round tag bracelet. I love this bracelet so much. So, so pretty. I actually like to layer this one and this one a lot together when I'm wearing them. I don't know, I think it just looks really pretty together. Those are those. And I think my last bracelet is this multi-heart Return to Tiffany bracelet. It's so pretty, I love this one so much. And people, I think, um, assume that it's heavy on, but it really isn't that bad. Um, I like, again, I said those two, but I like to layer almost all of these together. And I think that's very, very pretty. Got a little bit of a pop of color there with the Tiffany blue heart on that small beaded bracelet. So love those all together. And then for Tiffany rings, the only ring that I have is the one that I'm wearing and it's the Return to Tiffany Heart Signet Ring. And I love, love, love this ring. It was actually my first Tiffany piece. And I love it so much. And then for earrings, I have those on as well. These are the small bead earrings, like the smallest size. I think they're three, I can't remember what millimeter they are. They have more, they have larger ones than this, but. These are so, so cute. It's just a staple. It's just something that you can wear every day. I love that. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I just, I love these so much. They're just so basic. Okay, and let's move on to other designer jewelry. Here is, um, this is my only David Yearman piece. I did have a ring, but I sold it recently. So, um, this is the heart bracelet the cable heart bracelet. And I'm not sure if this is, they still have this or if it's sold out, but I love this bracelet so much. You can see it has the DY right there. If you can see it. And it's a toggle bracelet. And again, I love to stack this one with the Tiffany bead bracelet and the round tag bracelet. And sometimes I would throw in this one, but it gets to be a lot on the wrist. <laughs> So that is my David Yearman um, cable heart bracelet. Love that one. My only David Yearman piece. And I'm just trying to look to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Um, on to my only LV jewelry piece, and it is the Essential V necklace. And this is a great layering piece as well. And it is, um, does have an adjustable setting on it. You can see it says it has the LV right there. Love this piece, so, so pretty. All right, and then next I'm gonna go to um, the only Balenciaga piece that I have, and it's this Balenciaga um, large stud uh, bracelet, and it's on the black leather. And I love this bracelet. It's not heavy either. It might look like it because it's got that giant stud hard, hardware on it. But this is such a pretty piece. I love to layer it as well. I love to layer all my bracelets, but love this one. And then moving on to a brand called Sabika. Um, I don't know if you've heard of them before, but they use the Swarovski crystals and I have a lot of their pieces. Um, I was really into them for a while. Um, and so this, I have this one, it's very, very pretty. I'll link their website below too. That bracelet and this one. 
I love these earth tone colors. It's so pretty. This is more like fallish colors. And I also have a necklace that goes with that one. It's so pretty. And then those are like the fallish kind of colors. This one is more kind of like summery. It's got those bright, bright colors. I like to wear it on the 4th of July. Um, these earrings with these earrings or like any kind of patriotic holiday. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that good. Whoop. And then I also have the, the bracelet that goes with that one too. But I like to wear that on the holidays. And then I also have a couple of studded Sabika earrings. These ones were a free gift to me with purchase and they're just got like little pink Swarovski crystals in there. And these I wear a lot because they're the earth tone. They go with the earth tone colors. And I wear a lot of this color, so I really like it a lot. So that is the Sabika jewelry. Forgot to mention these earrings as well. These are so pretty. They sparkle. I love the industrial look of the hardware on this jewelry. And the sparkle is just so nice. Love that. That is my Sabika moving to Pandora. This is the only Pandora bracelet ooh, that I own. Um, and this is the only Pandora ring that I own. I love it. It's like the mother of pearl ring and I always wear it on my first finger there. Excuse my ugly nails. <laughs> and on my Pandora bracelet, I might do a what's on my Pandora bracelet another time, but that is what that looks like. And then moving on to L&M, which is where I said this sweatshirt is from. I have a lot of the jewelry from that site as well. Um, and it's just, um, it's like plated gold jewelry, more like fashion jewelry, but it, it really has stood the test of time. I've had these pieces for a really long time, starting with this round disc necklace in gold. It's very pretty, very good for layering. Another good layer. And I like to mix my metals. That's why I like to wear this David Yerman bracelet with my Tiffany jewelry because if you can see there's some gold in there but it just has silver too so it looks so pretty. I love mixed metals so that one the round disc and then I have this star which is another good piece for layering and then I have this little bar. These are really popular. I think they still are, but very nice there. And then this is called the cigar band ring. And I wear this a lot. I love this ring so much. It's so pretty. And then the last thing I think from L&M is I think she called it the tattoo bracelet or something like that, but it's really, really nice. And I don't think this is for sale anymore on the site, but you can see how it has like little hearts, I think is what it is. So that is that. Moving on to a couple of rings here I have in front of me. This ring is from Monica Venader. I love her pieces. They are so, so pretty. Not sure what this one is called. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But I love the color of that that bluish gray stone in there. And then this is by Elizabeth Stone, and it's like the a rainbow ring with a mother of pearl in the middle. So, so pretty. I love that one. I don't know if you can really see that very good though, but it's really not coming up good on camera. Um, the next thing I see in front of me is my little bar necklace. And this is what my mom got me for my first Mother's Day last year. And it just has my son's name on it. I think she got this from Etsy, but it says Kanan and that's his name. And I love this one. Another good layering piece. 
And then just kind of moving on to some randomness here. <laughs> this video is getting kind of long. This is my Braca initial necklace. And again, I have my son's initial C for Canaan. And I've been wearing this a lot, a lot, a lot. I love this so much, but it's Braca is the brand. And you can get this from Nordstrom. So pretty. And this is an amethyst ring. That was my grandmother's, my mamaw's. And she wore it all the time. And when she passed away, I was able to get this one. And I love this. It's so unique. And it changes colors with whatever you're wearing. It's not really a mood ring, I would say. But it just, it changes colors with what you wear. So her birthday was in February. Hence the amethyst stone. And then this bracelet my husband got me for our ninth anniversary. And this is from the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, such a historic place um, for songwriting. And I love it. It's got, it's actually made um, with a guitar strap, or I mean, sorry, a guitar string. These are guitar strings, if you can see that. And then it's got a little charm with a little Bluebird on there love this piece another mixed metals piece so i like to layer it as well and then i have this alex and ani evil eye bracelet that i think is so pretty I like to layer it as well you can see the evil eye there and then i think the last thing in my collection are some watches that i wear pretty consistently that i've had for a few years now actually this one needs a battery this is from daniel wellington and it's the brown band with the rose gold and then i also have the daniel wellington if this is the black with the black face and rose gold i love these watches the quality is amazing and really, really just beautiful. I love how timeless they are. They never go out of style. You can see how much I've worn this one. This one's pretty worn, but anyway, those are from Daniel Wellington. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun for me to do. I love jewelry, as you can probably tell by now. I have other pieces in my collection too, but these are the ones that I just wanted to show you today. And um, I'm going to finish this really good strawberry lemonade from the Cheesecake Factory that my husband so graciously brought to me this afternoon. And um, I hope y'all have a great weekend. Happy Friday. And also, if you want to know the color that I'm wearing on my lips, this bright red by MAC is called Lady Danger. So, love this lipstick. Sorry if this video was too long. I tried to just brush through it. Maybe I should have broken it up into sections, but I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.